People were posting weird high school baseball fields on Reddit. So then I tweeted it and I got 3,000 responses. These were my favorite of weird slash bad baseball fields. First, this is the hook in Kentucky. And it is glorious. Right field is so incredibly shallow. And left field is just huge. I mean, usually you put your worst defender in right field anyway. This guy's got to cover no ground at all. I don't know where you would stand him, just on the end so he can come in. I think you just put him at the very back so he could come in and catch anything. I love that they put guardrails on top of this fence as if the left fielder is going to run all the way back and make a game-saving, home-run-robbing catch so they needed padding. Just cracks me up. No need for padding. All right, let's go to Tom's River High School South where Todd Frazier's from. Sean Doolittle played here. And this one's interesting because they just have a building jutting in. And I just have dreams of a ball coming here and the right fielder chasing it. And the right fielder thinks it's going to hit this side. And so he's tailing it this way. And then the ball hits right here and it's got some speed and it just loops this way and now this fielder came this way he's got to come that way maybe it's so fast and he's so bad that the first baseman actually comes and picks it up over here I don't know that would be a lot of fun interesting for me just a building in the middle of the field it's really short like 270 something right here it's a nice little power alley if you can get it out there so that's a weird one all right let's go all the way cross country to south San Francisco El Camino High school. This one is funny because they got a lot of land. You can see the high school has land, but they just sandwiched the baseball field in between the tennis courts and the football field. Center field is 250, only 250. All these basketball courts behind the tennis field, you're not using those. Oh, man. And then the where does the center fielder play here? He's got to play super shallow. I think he's got to play super shallow. Those basketball courts, you probably could have stacked the tennis courts, moved center field a little bit. I don't know. And if you actually look in close on the center field fence, there's something in the middle of it that it's a ground rule double right here. Over there, if it goes above there, it's a ground rule double. So you could hit a bomb over the trees, over the tennis court, and you'd just be standing right on second base. Right on second base. The outfielder, on this one, I think you play five infielders. I don't even think you put the center fielder out there. You just play five infielders, stand them right there. And the cool part about this is you can hit a foul ball right into the dead. Just foul it into the tombstones. Big old cemetery by El Camino South High School. Uh, It blows my mind that you can actually play on that one. So let's go... Southern California, Burbank. My good friend Trevor Plouffe said he actually played on this one. This actually might be the most egregious, and I'm going to guess that Burbank High School doesn't actually play games here because it's about 250 to right center, and it's not deep anywhere. I'm going to guess this is like freshman ball or whatever. They can't even put a warning track because if they did, it would be just all dirt. That is crazy. Oh, I like I like this this house though right here. I, I like picturing some old people sitting here just enjoying some high school baseball. All right. Next, we are going all the way to Panama, and I am gonna hand the mic over to my good guest friend. Hi everyone, I'm five points vids, and growing up as a military brat, I got to see the world. One of those amazing sights was the Bridge of the Americas in Panama, a symbol of unity and triumph. Too bad all that symbolism literally went right over this baseball field at Panama Canal College, where my high school team would practice and scrimmage. Yeah, that's a diamond underneath there. Not only is a 10-story high bridge literally above the playing field, but a concrete tower sits right where the left fielder should be standing. Nobody ever put one onto the road above, but we all agreed that would have been amazing. All right, we're leaving Panama, going back to the U.S. This is one of my favorite ones, Hackett Field. (laughs) They only had room for so much. Can't get rid of the junkyard or truck stop, whatever that is. So the track (laughs) touches the infield. I hope that there was track races. 
and baseball games at the same time. At one point, they fucked up the scheduling, and you have people just racing while a game is playing. I I know that's probably never has happened. This field maybe, I hope, isn't a main field. But just a ridiculous thing to have a track in the middle of the field, the track and the infield dirt touch. And look at this. When you zoom in, there's a lip. There's like a concrete lip. You could get some terrible bounces. That was good. This is Pomperog High School. That's where I went. I went and saw my all the baseball fields to see if they were normal. They were good. Pomperog was pretty good. And then I even went and checked out the old field I played on in middle school, which was in Illinois, Chestnut Corners, Warwick Park. And that was pretty good, too. A lot of weird ones. Go to check my Twitter. Go check Reddit. There were so many weird fields. Those were my favorite by far.